Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman at the CME Group with your morning market stir for Tuesday, April 15th. Markets bounced back yesterday after the sell-off that we saw the week before. Even the S&P was up 0.8%, 1824 and a half, up 13. The high of the session was 1828, so it closed well. 1803 was a new relative low that we want to keep an eye on as a support point. The Dow led the way up 0.9% after being the least weak the week before. 16.096 where the futures closed, up 115 on the session. And the Nasdaq still lagging behind, up 26 though at 34.70 in the tech shares here in the futures. Looking at the dollar, got firmer, up 28, 79.81. The euro currency only had a 56 point range between the high and the low. Sat, settled yesterday at 138.19. It was down 66 on the session. Bonds did back off a little, down 9 at 134.16. Crude oil was up 31 cents at 104.05, so closing above the 104 level in the oil market. And gold added another $9 at 13.28. Some new relative highs yesterday, 13.31 and a half. So after a little bit of a snapback yesterday, where do things stand on this Tuesday morning with a shortened trading week? Well, we're positive right now. We're plus one in the EME S&P, 18.25 and a half. We're down seven in the Dow, 16,089. 16, and we're up one point in the NASDAQ as we stand right now at uh, 34.71 uh, here in the NASDAQ. The dollar continues to get firmer. We're at 79.92, up 11, approaching that 80 point. That's pushed the euro currency back down to 138. Bonds are off a couple of ticks again, 134.12, down four. Uh, I may have misspoken on the yields yesterday. I inverted it. We're at 3.49 in the 30 year, and we're at 2.65 yield on the 10-year note. So we're just below the midpoint of the 275 uh, in the 10-year note. Looking at crude, crude oil is off $1 at 103.10 with, uh, with the strength in the, uh, in the dollar that we've seen over the past couple days. That's also hurting the gold market. Gold's having some unwinding down $23, but still above $1,300 that we watch on a weekly basis. $1,305 is where we stand right now. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're a little positive. We're plus one in the E-mini S&P, 1825, but we're down seven in the Dow future. So a very quiet morning right now as we await more earnings that are going to come out hot and heavy here this week. I will see you early Wednesday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.